Happy Saturday. So as you can tell, we are looking a little rub. I have not gotten ready this morning and it's already 11.30. Usually by this point, I'm already like put together, yada yada. My husband has been working on call this week. So he's been working like a lot of hours this week. And so I had to wake up early, make him breakfast and pack him a lunch. I didn't want him to come home to like a chaotic home. So I went ahead and just cleaned our room already. I made the bed and everything since Kai woke up as well. I made the bed, I cleaned the living room, I put all our clothes washed. Because the kitchen is clean, the living room is clean, and usually it's never that clean. It never stays that this clean. But my hubby's coming home in a few minutes. So I'm happy that he's gonna, like I said, he's gonna come home to like a clean house or whatever. And then the other thing I need to do, you guys, is my nails. So I might do my nails with you guys as well. So I started using the gel polish. Like seriously, my, I've gotten better at the application that my nails last over a week now. That makes me really happy. So I'm going to do my nails with you guys for sure. I remember what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm going to be making pozole tonight. Since it's going to be like hella cold, I thought it would be good to make pozole verde. I looked in the freezer and i had a little bit of uh, carnitas left like carnitas de puerco so we're gonna make i'm looking over here because kai's outside so i'm like looking at him of the meat left i think it'll be perfect since philip does not like soup that much and like what i have left would be just enough for like for dinner you know and i have hominy i have basically everything to make the pozole with you guys so i'm gonna cook that with you guys for dinner so you guys update my workout was awesome just like i knew it was going to be i feel like on the weekends when my hubby's home i know like someone has an eye on kai and i can just focus i will add a few clips here of my work And um, we are making lunch now. I'm trying something different that I've never tried before, which is tofu. And then over here, I got some broccoli. Sorry, and some white rice. surprised with the tofu it tastes so good and i added extra vegetables the rice is done the broccoli is done but it's really hot so i'm gonna let it just cool down a little bit while i start on my hair and i was like let me go get the camera so i can like film a little bit while i'm in here i just want to have like a chill day you know to give myself a manicure and pedicure i want to shave so i feel like today i want to just like take the day to just like you know, self-care day. So that's what. So I know the camera is at a weird angle, like falling. My bad. But I'm almost done. So. So you see, like that's one thing. Like I know I'm not gonna do my makeup at all, and I don't want to be thought for longer the whole day. I want my hair to at least be done. You know. And then the next thing that I like to do, so I don't look totally dead, is curl my lashes. <laughs> oh 
trying to add a little bit more peachy blush. And a little bit of highlight. Dude, my favorite highlight from Ofra, Shattered. I don't want to throw it away. I need a new highlight and a new bronzer. So I'm going to do uh, Ulta. Maybe Ulta or Sephora. Look, you guys, so delicious. With the rice. Wow. It tastes so good. Smoothie time and Netflix, you guys. pot boiling because I'm gonna go ahead and start on dinner I think I'm gonna try making the pozole so the only thing is because the girl couldn't find tomatillos for me for my instacart order she I had to get these they're canned and they're already cooked so that's gonna like cut the time I guess from like cooking them <laughs> salt and a black pepper to the pork a sauce now to Add or the broth. Oh my god, no. Little thing. The little broth or whatever. I hope you can hear me because we're watching Netflix and it's kind of loud. So sorry. If you can't. Pues toda y el agua because we're going to need water. And I put in some jalapeno and serrano onion and like four garlic. And I'm also going to add poblano just for that dark green color. We're going to add some caldo de pollo. We're also going to add some comino, Mexican oregano. Keep the good stuff in here. And there are two. And then those hojas de laurel, I'm gonna throw in there. Like two bay leaves, I think they're called. I'm gonna add more water and put this in the blender. So now I'm gonna just, why is this open? Oh my God, well, really I gotta start putting up my stuff. All my seasoning. This is like my seasoning drawer, you guys, right here. Still not fitting in here no more. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil and then we're gonna taste the seasoning, taste for salt. Only thing is I'm already out of the caldo de pollo, so that sucks. Hopefully it was enough. Come to a boil and simmer and cook for the next few hours until the meat shreds. Hopefully it tastes good. I haven't made pozole like this in a while.
one. Usually I do like at the same time, but this time I wanted to finish one hand and then. Yeah. Please be good, crazy. Please be good, crazy. Please be good, crazy. Anyways, um, the food is done. Yay! I just need to shred it. So I'm about to shred these right now. I was making some tostadas right now, right here, to have with the pozole. So let me shred this, and then we'll be back. Shred it. Twenty minutes, and it should be done. So you guys, the pozole, the pozole came out. Pretty good, really fast, I guess, pozole for the night. Two hours to fully cook, so it's done now. We're gonna just let it cool off and we're gonna have this for dinner. <laughs> good morning, you guys. It is Sunday, happy Sunday, and we just woke up. It is 8.30. I'm about to make breakfast and I wanted to bring you along today. Coffee because we're out. And I think I need a new coffee pot. Like, it's crazy because I haven't even had this one that long. Like, seriously, I've had it for a few months. And I got it on Amazon and it's messing up, like, the little button. And, of course, I'm going to use the, this coffee because it tastes so freaking bomb. In my last video, I told you guys, like, seriously, it's so freaking good. There it goes. So for breakfast, I think I'm going to make like just like our favorite breakfast, Philip's favorite breakfast as well, which is just like turkey sausage, fried turkey sausage, some fried eggs, and refried beans. I don't know if I'm going to make potatoes yet. I need to check. Um, I think I do have papas, so I might do that. And it is so cool today, you guys. All the papas are nice and cut up, so. With potatoes, you guys, I used to season them all in the pan, but then I felt like um, I started feeling like the, the seasoning would always burn and get stuck in my pan. So I want to say, like, recently, like in, in the last like two months, I stopped doing that. Now I just do the salt and black pepper while it's in there. And then once it's almost done cooking, that's when I season it with like garlic powder, onion powder, or anything else I want to like put in here. But I'm out of garlic powder, that's something I have to order today but sometimes i like to do the seasoning like uh like creole seasoning at the end i feel like it gives the potatoes like a really one a pretty color and then they just taste really good because i feel like the creole seasoning cajun seasonings like they just have like a good spice blend so i'm gonna let the papas cook and that's another thing i like to do i like to like pat the papas down so that it's like evenly covered on the pan and i try not to move them too much I don't have it on super hot either. I have it like on uh, medium low or low medium heat so they don't over burn. And then try not moving them a lot because we want like a really pretty roasted color or a really pretty color on it. But let's make some cafe. Thank God my coffee pot came through this time. And um, it made a coffee. So let's go ahead and make some coffee now, right? And then another thing I've been doing, you guys, is making foam for the top of the coffee. I've been using this heavy whip whipping foam. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. I put a little bit of the cream here. And then I have some vanilla syrup here. I need to buy a pump for this because I just put it in this mason jar. And then I just do a little bit of like that much and I like to add a little stevia just like a pinch in there and then start frothing it up you guys with my 
new little frother. It's so cute. And this is just going to give us that really pretty foam on the top. Let's go check on those papas because I hear them. my little french vanilla creamer and just add a little bit let me measure it so we know exactly how much we're doing it says a one tablespoon so let's do one tablespoon let's see dude definitely i do more than one tablespoon <laughs> let me see I'm going to do two tablespoons. See what happens. Yeah, two tablespoons for sure of creamer. Looks like it'll be a good amount. Coconut coffee, you guys. Oh my god, it already smells so good. I hope you guys try it. Honestly, I really do. If you do try the coffee and you bought it, let me know in the comments down below. And for my next video, you guys, I definitely had uh, one of my girls right here. I'll post her comment right here. She asked if I could do a salsa recipe. I actually have a salsa recipe already on my channel. It was one of the first videos I like filmed a long, long time ago. But I was like, you know what? I still love that salsa and I still make that salsa like all the time, especially for carne asadas. But I think I'm like, let me do a salsa video. Show y'all a few other salsas that I love to make. Like, look how cute. It comes with like a little holder and everything. I feel like this one's so much better than the one I used to buy. Like I had this other one that kept messing up and yeah. If you look at this thick foam, it looks like cool whip. And then just pour it on top. And I'm gonna save some for Philip for when he wakes up. One I'm gonna be using today. Usually I use the Eckridge Farms one. So Kroger had this one, so I decided to pick it up. I've never seen this one before, so I was like, let me try it. Why not? Look, you guys, sausage. refried beans in here already so um i just put them in this but yeah you guys pretty much it's just been like chill day chill weekend i can't believe i'm gonna be 31 tomorrow tomorrow is my birthday how exciting i don't have any plans for tomorrow or anything um just because like i did not grow up celebrating my birthdays or anything like that i feel like it's it's different like when you don't grow up celebrating stuff like that and no one in your family does either like it's not like a big thing you know um, or my husband's family either so it's not like oh my god I'm gonna have like a birthday and like a birthday party and all that you know it's not like that type of thing to me it's more of like I like to sit back and just appreciate my life and how far I've come like I've been on this earth for 31 years and it's my special day because I was born on that day and I just see it like that and like excited for the new year of life and what's to come you know so tomorrow is just going to be look to me like a regular day, but I am going to obviously get ready, get dolled up, make sure my makeup is super cute. And yeah, maybe I'll make like cookies or something. I've been wanting to make cookies from scratch. Like I've never ever done that because I'm a horrible baker, you guys. But I really want to try it. So I'm thinking I might. I saw a recipe yesterday on YouTube on how to make the best cookies. I think I'm going to go ahead and just order everything today and make those cookies with you tomorrow.
You guys, I know what I wanted to tell you now that I remembered. So, my husband's job every year around Thanksgiving time and Christmas, like the holiday time, they give them um, these steaks called Omaha steaks or o Omaha steaks, something like that. And um, he gets to pick like a steak dinner for his family. Anyway, so last year we got the steaks and they're really good steaks, you guys. Like nice, high quality steaks. I even saw a video from Laria Vitali cooking with those steaks. I was like, what the heck? So this must be some really good meat, right? So last year, like, we cooked it. I think my husband grilled the steaks for us and he grilled the shrimp. Like, it was so good. I think we got the surf and turf. So this year, they sent him... They sent him the same thing. And I'm like, we need to order our steaks. Thinking for a fun video idea would be for us to have, like, a steak off because we always say, like... I always see videos of like cooking the perfect steak on a cast iron skillet and then in the oven. And my husband's like, no one needs to be on the grill. You grill it first or whatever. So I was telling him like we should have a steak off contest like where you cook one steak however you want. I cook the steak however I want and then we blindfold each other and then we take, we taste, we do a taste test and we see who made the best steak. And that's what I'm like whoever wins like gets to sleep in the next day or gets a massage or something like that. So. He said he was down and then we'll cook we'll cook the steaks and everything and like we'll make a video and i'm surprised because usually he's really shy but i'm pretty sure he's not gonna want to be coming out a lot on the video but whatever breakfast is already and served it looks so freaking good we got potatoes we got frijoles we got the salchicha and i got those huevos my salsita from the other day that i made some pour that over and i like a lot of chile because i basically eat it with everything on my food so and Phillips is also ready too, except he likes cheese on his beans and stuff and potatoes. I haven't added that yet. I'm going to wait till he wakes up. But Monday breakfast for my hubby. Kai's already eating. So we're going to eat breakfast and I'll get back to you guys later. Alright you guys, so I just finished getting ready for the day and I look and feel super cute, let me tell you. Um, yeah. The eyeshadow and everything is a vibe. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and style some outfits right now that my makeup is done, my hair is done. Basically, I'm ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put on an outfit and then go take pictures outside. So a ver que, a ver que hacemos y que comemos. All right, let's go. We are at home. And I decided I want to try making those cookies tonight instead, tomorrow. Because it feels like it's so late and it's only 6 o'clock and it's already midnight outside. Like, really? So I went ahead and took out all the ingredients that the video said that required. So I'm going to be following along. I don't even think I told you guys. I found this video last night, which shout out to you, YouTube, if you're listening. Because I was literally saying, I want to make homemade cookies like from scratch because I've never done that before. And then a video popped up yesterday on my YouTube and it was exactly that. So I want to follow her recipe. Rosana Pancino and she had this recipe. How to make perfect chunky chocolate chip cookies. Baking basics. So I'm going to go ahead and try out her recipe with you guys and see how it turns out. So we're going to be needing flour, baking soda, corn, corn starch, salt, butter, sugar, brown sugar, an egg, Ghirardelli, chocolate chips. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm scared because really because of my ADHD I have like low attention span where I get like really I don't know hard it's hard for me to pay attention to detail sometimes so um, I hate baking because like you have to do it just right or it doesn't come out right you know what I'm saying so 
yeah, kind of low-key makes me a little nervous. Let's hope these cookies turn out good. So then she says two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, that's a tablespoon. This is one teaspoon. So it says two teaspoons of vanilla. It goes one, two and a half. Here is the half. Okay. Aim. Melted butter to make this cookie soft and chewy. And now I'm going to make egg. And from this egg, just the yolk. This is going to help the cookie be richer and chewy. So next up, one full egg and a yolk. I'm just using the jiggle method, which is where I crack an egg. I jiggle the yolk back and forth, letting the egg white run. All the egg white is now here, and I'm just going to put the yolk right in the bowl. Also add two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Once again, on a medium speed, you're going to mix. Oh my god, they're big. So the lady says to get your dough ball. I forgot to show y'all. I got it out of the pan. And then put it in a saran wrap and put it in the fridge. I don't have saran wrap, so I'm going to put it in this big Ziploc bag. Put it in the fridge and let it get cold. Okay, so let's go do that now. Okay, so you want me to start over? So we're gonna choose one and then we're gonna cook it and see who's the best steak throwdown. Show us your apple. Mmm, is it yummy? Yummy. Mmm. So basically, we'll get two filet mignons, two, four, oh, two filet mignons, four lobster tails, four baked potatoes, and I don't know how many cheesecakes, like mini cheesecakes. So it gives us one steak each. And then we have to be blindfolded and eat it. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because the cookies, as I'm forming them, they keep breaking. I don't think that's a good sign. What? On the cooking sheet, I'm gonna just press them down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put them in the oven and we shall see how they turn out. Do y'all see that? I'm almost done with it when I was supposed to do a taste test. <laughs> I think that's gonna speak for itself. Wow. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. And stay tuned for next week's vlog where we 